So migraines are much more than just headaches, right? They involve throbbing pain, sensitivity to light, nausea, and can significantly affect quality of life. Well, one key factor that's linked to migraines is histamine, or I should say having too much histamine. Histamine is a biogenic amine that is involved in many different things. You're probably familiar with the person who has allergies and their eyes are all puffy and their nose is running all over the place. But histamine is also involved in things like our immune response. Histamine regulates our stomach acid and histamine plays a very important role in something known as neurotransmission, how cells communicate back and forth with one another. This chemical histamine is stored in special types of white blood cells known as eosinophils or mast cells or basophils. And when it's released because it influences the central nerve system, too much of it could potentially trigger migraines. Well, hey there, I'm Dr. Hagmeyer and I'm a certified functional medicine practitioner. I work with patients all over the United States who suffer uh, with histamine intolerance and mast cell activation syndrome. And today, I wanna help you better understand how histamine could be one of the culprits causing your migraines and headaches. So let's jump into a few things and a few ways that histamine can do this. Now, because histamine acts as a powerful vaso vasodilator, it causes your blood vessels to expand and dilate. And this increased histamine levels will dilate the blood flow in the cerebral blood vessels. And that alters the blood flow to the brain which is often linked to migraines. Secondly, histamine is a key mediator of inflammation. And so when we talk about inflammation and when histamine is released from mast cells or basophils or eosinophils, we get lots of inflammation, lots of inflammatory chemicals floating around our brain. Now, brain inflammation, better known as neuroinflammation, this can be a trigger uh, involved in many neural pathways that are involved in migraine pain. You see, histamine is also a neurotransmitter that's responsible for keeping our mind in a wakened alert state or a state of arousal. The way histamine does this is that it interacts with a variety of different neurotransmitters, things like serotonin and dopamine and norepinephrine. Again, all of these are implicated causing that migraine aura. And it's this aura, which is that period of time, which is about an hour before that headache phase of the migraine sets in. Auras can affect visual uh, sensory functions, they can affect our speech, they can affect our touch. And again, it's these symptoms that are our body's way of giving us that a migraine is on its way. All right, so the last thing you should know about histamine and headaches and migraines is that histamine influences the gut-brain axis, meaning that it affects gut motility and permeability. Gastrointestinal issues like dysbiosis, gut bacterial imbalances, um, this can actually increase the release of histamine and the absorption of uh, this histamine into the bloodstream, potentially reaching the brain and again, triggering that migraine. This is why the gut is such an important area for people that have migraines and for people that have histamine intolerance. All right, so if you think you might be suffering with histamine intolerance, I want you to be aware that if you go to my website, I put together a histamine MCAS quiz. And this goes through many different questions as it relates to histamine intolerance, uh, symptoms that you probably may not have ever realized that are connected to your headaches and connected to overloads of, of this excess histamine. So as far as managing histamine intolerance, what do you do if you have histamine intolerance and headaches? Well, again, I've done so many different videos on this channel that get into that. And so if that's something that you're interested in, I recommend that you check out this video right here or this one right here next.